are portals. Portals to reach God. Agree? Mm -hmm. So, what is better than one portal? Two of a lot of them. That's what all the temples here are dual. The building is not a uh, hollow. It's solid. Why? They first of all build up one temple and then put the big one on the top to make two portals in one. Right? So, um, this building is also the same. Duality for the Mayans is important and they represent the duality through a planet, Venus. You know what Venus? Venus go out some part of the day in the morning and some parts of the year in the evening. So it's a dual planet representing what they believe. But what is more enigmatical is that they wrote a message here. Do you see the pictogram in the corner? Mm -hmm. That is like a flower and a star. Did you see it? Then there is a small knot and then the hieroglyphic of time. Did you see? You don't see it? Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. I have a picture taken two years ago. Do you see the colors here? Mm -hmm. Why you no longer see the colors here? People take pictures with flash. Uh, These things were done to last hurricanes, sun, whatever. But not bright lights from lights from the cameras. So Venus is a flower and a star. Do you see it? Knot mm -hmm. that I mentioned. Do you see the knot? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the hieroglyphic of time. Venus is attached to the destiny. What an enigmatic message, right? Mm -hmm. What try to tell us? We don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> we just know they wrote it here. But we have a theory because this guy lives in Venus. Do you know who's this guy? More or less, <coughs> he is Kukul Khan. When he's cool, nice, kind, and everything, he looks like a feathered serpent. And you see it, remember, in the Temple of the Warriors coming down, you see it in the stairways here, you see it over the that that looks like a hippo. It's not a hippo, it's a feathered serpent, right? You see it surrounding all the place. But here we have a different representation. Kukulkan is represented as a man emerging from the mouth of a jaguar with a snake tongue, claws and wings. So he is the monster of the earth. Man, jaguar, bird, snake. All the four corners in one spot. And the tongue is going out because he's angry. He wants blood. And the third avatar is the most feared one. But that refers to the Mayan prophecies and the 2012. After 2012, Kukulkan come back like a white man with beard. So, but probably you are not interested on hearing about the thoughts of 2012 and the 13 prophecies of the Mayans, right? Because that is just the believings of the Mayans and wrote it, wrote it in 13 books about this size, right? Or you want to hear about the 2012? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to mention this uh, before. Guys, you're requesting this information, okay? Okay. This is Mayan believings. This is not history. This is not archaeology. This is what we believe. Okay? So you took the path, you have to follow it to the very end. Okay? Mayans, we have 13 prophecies, guided right after the conquista. Pass it to other traditions and gather in a book, in a compilation of books called the books of the Chilam Balam, the words of the Jaguar prophet. Those 13 prophecies are cyclical. Suppose that every single era is going to happen once again. 10 of the 13 prophecies already happened, already fulfilled. The come of the foreigners, the big war, the famine, the starvation, the loss of the innocence in our child, the other big war, um, the end of the religion, the loss of the innocence in our child, things like that. Things that already affect to the Mayans. But 11 prophecies, so sorry, is happening right now. 
to understand the 11 prophecy, we have to go to the beginning of the fourth era of the Mayans, when Tepe Uhuhu Naku and Kukul can create everything. Why? They take away the water and make the ground to emerge. Creating our flat stone peninsula. Eleven prophecies state very clear that the water is going to retake what the water lost because everything is equal. Do you know what is global warming? <laughs> we are three degrees below. If we cross it, no turning back. All our caskets are going to melt. Water level, raise up 70 meters. That means twice the size of the temple. Twelve prophecy says the people who don't live in harmony with God and nature are going to suffer a cleanse. You know what is a cleanse? Major cleaning. <laughs> purification but also you know what happened if the water raised up 70 meters 25 percent of the cities of the mankind are going to be lost because they are close by the shore if water level raised up 70 meters Nebraska is going to have a shore <laughs> that's what is going to happen a lot